Vic's Creative Corner. So today we're going to talk about installing Microsoft applications um, from the Microsoft Store, as well as the Xbox Ultimate PC Gaming Pass, which permits you to install games on your PC with your Xbox subscription. Um, I think it's a really awesome thing. I love that I can play my Xbox games on my PC, but I wanna be able to use them like a game launcher or an application launcher. So that way I don't have to go and literally sift for shortcuts in a specific folder just to double click it. So me, I prefer to do it with the tap of a button and we're gonna get started here. Now we're gonna start with iTunes cause this comes directly from the Microsoft store. So if you go here to the store, you type in iTunes, I think it's like one of the first ones that pops up. It'll tell you it's owned or installed, right? But uh, we, can't, we can't really run it unless we double click the shortcut or, you know, if you're struggling to install it, I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. I know where the folder path is, and these are for particular applications that are basically hidden in mountains of folders. So what we're going to do is come to our C drive. So I'm going to my PC, going to my C drive. Now I know where this is stored, so I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to go to user. Your username is going to be your own folder. You want to make sure that you're able to see hidden folders. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go to. You want to go to view. You want to go to show and select hidden items. And then you're going to go to app data. Then you're going to go to local. Then we're going to scroll down to the M's and we're going to look for Microsoft. From Microsoft, we are going to actually scroll down and look for Windows. Actually, I'm sorry, Windows apps. From here, we're going to see a folder that says iCloud and another that says iTunes. We're going to select the iTunes because this is going to be where this is going to actually launch from. So if we were to go here to properties, we're going to see the location, right? So we're going to select all. We're going to copy. Now, if we try to run this as is right now, we're going to get an error. And what's going to happen is it's going to tell us it can't launch it, but it'll open the folder for you, right? So you want to make sure that you're selecting the exe file. So let's make sure that we are going to choose the exe file. And this is the error that we're getting that I'm talking about. This file cannot be accessed by the system, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Instead of doing it like you would for the applications that I showed you with Epic, Steam, Ubisoft, EA, GOG.com, this is very different. From here, you're going to actually go to Copy as Path. So you're going to right click. You're going to go to Copy as Path instead of Properties. So we've copied the path. And what we're going to do is delete everything that's already in here. And you're going to notice that it has everything in quotations. Well, when we launch it with quotations, the interesting thing is it will actually launch the application for you. So you want to make sure that you're copying as path in order to launch the application properly. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of iTunes. Now, if you want to make your icon nice, you definitely can. Let's go ahead and do so. This pack is by Nerd or Die. I'm looking for the iTunes one. No, it's up here. Here is going to make it look pretty for y'all. There we go. There's iTunes. <laughs> it was almost like, where's Waldo, right? Okay, so the next one, and keep in mind, these are applications, so you're just opening them. So the next one is going to actually be Xbox, right? So if we come here, it tells us Microsoft gaming app and then some weird crazy folder. Well, now that we've seen the weird crazy folder, right, where it's telling us all of this, we're still gonna actually be in Microsoft and Windows apps. So from here, we're gonna actually scroll down and it's gonna say Xbox PC app.exe. So the same thing, we are gonna actually copy as path. We're gonna paste this here. And then what we're gonna do is set up our icon. And we're gonna choose the Xbox logo. And then once we launch it, it's going to pull up the Xbox application, which I think is really awesome and handy to have. 
So keep in mind, we're still saying, staying in the Windows application. All right, so we don't need these, right? But now we wanna install an Xbox PC game. So we're gonna go here to properties. We're gonna see, okay, this is something we can't copy and we can't go to the file location. But if you know where the games are installed, and in my case, I do, this is actually in a different area. It will not be in Windows apps. So from here, we're gonna go back to our C drive. Okay, here's our C drive. And then do you see where it says Xbox games? Directly on your C drive. We're gonna go here. And this is the game. This is the content. And here's the EXE. So from here, we're gonna do the same thing because we don't wanna do properties, right? This isn't, this isn't gonna work for us. So we wanna make sure that we are going to copy as path. And we're gonna go ahead and open up a new one. And this one I actually have an icon for. So I need to go into my actual game icon folder and it's gonna be Edge of Eternity. So we're gonna select that one. And now we're gonna launch it. This is all done on the Stream Deck, y'all. These are all those Microsoft applications that tell you you can't launch them. Well, now you can. So we can see that the game is working. I haven't played this game yet, I, I intend to. Oh, look, Twitch integration. All right, so <laughs> the next one is actually not Xbox or Microsoft. It is going to be PlayStation Plus. Um, this is going to be their, um, I, I wanna say cloud gaming is what it is. So if we go to properties, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna get this weird junk, right? And we don't know what that means. But if you know where it's installed, and we do, we're gonna go to our C drive. And this one is gonna be program files 86. And we're gonna look for PlayStation. All right, so it's right here where it says PlayStation Plus. And here is our launcher, right? This is what we want. So from here, we are gonna go to copy as path. Because if we do the same thing with properties, this is basically telling us where the location is, but we need those parentheses. So we're gonna copy as path. And what we're gonna do is select open. And we're gonna actually change this icon. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Here we go. And we're gonna select our PlayStation logo. I know it's here somewhere. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna launch it. And it may ask you to sign in if you haven't signed into their cloud gaming yet. And it's gonna look a lot like the UI menu that you see on your PlayStation 5, in my case. Yeah, that's how you do this. So hopefully this has made it easier for you all, for those who have the Xbox Game Pass or the PlayStation um, Cloud Gaming through their Platinum and uh, your Microsoft applications that are directly from the Microsoft Store. Thank you for watching.